Tonight, I'm Morgan Hoover. Friends and family have been pruning side roads and other areas in Bonneville, searching for the missing mother, Erica Burden. News 40's Krista Garrison spoke with Erica's family earlier today. She shares their pleas. A young mom, daughter, and friend vanished. Loved ones now pleading for the answer. Where is Erica Burden? According to police, 27-year-old Burden dropped her daughter Lily off at school just before 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. Her vehicle then left the parking lot and returned one hour later. Burden's father, Shelby Nunn, says his wife called him saying Burden never came home after dropping off Lily. Then the search began. She had been looking for her. She had went up and talked to her husband. He said he hadn't seen her. And so we was out riding around and rode past the school at Bonneville. I seen her vehicle in there. I pulled in. I went over and looked in her vehicle. Knew it was hers. Noticed that the driver's side seat cover was missing. I didn't touch anything. I called the police. Locals like Christopher Langner have been searching for the missing woman. I laid in bed last night and continued to think, man, what if that was my kid or my daughter or my mom or anybody, I mean, my family in general, you know? Um, and I just couldn't handle the fact that maybe she's still out here alive. And maybe we can have a chance to find her. So. A court granted an emergency protective order Tuesday afternoon to keep Lily away from Burden's estranged husband. The little girl is now with her grandparents, where Burden and Lily were living before her disappearance. Lily just asked me when I brought her in, where's my mama at? She just, poor little thing, she don't know. Her and mama, they're, they're tight. They're, they just love each other to death. I don't know what's going to break her heart. Nunn says Burden is an outstanding mom. She wouldn't leave her daughter. She loves that baby. That's her best friend. It, it's sad. Something happened to her. She didn't just up and leave. She is a good mother and a great daughter. I just want her home. Burden was last seen wearing a burgundy sweatshirt, distressed blue jeans, and leopard Crocs. She also carries a leopard purse and has tattoos of her right arm. Her cousin, 10-year-old Parker Nunn, says Burden is like a second mom to him, and he's worried about her. I just feel empty, and I just hope Erica's okay. If anybody knows um, anything, anything, even like anything, like a little tiny thing, just let us know, please. Krista Garrison, News 40, Bonneville. Want to the man that was in the video is out searching and he says that his team combed through every inch of Bonneville and never found anything. State troopers are currently searching his house, meaning the estranged husband's house, and Erica's phone was at his house. There's also three sinkholes not far from his house that were freshly covered in topsoil. So that's been turned over to the police. They're back out again today. He posted this morning about an hour ago. He got permission from landowners to search the property behind Billy's house. Billy is the estranged husband, and the police are aware of the sinkholes now. He's trying to find out if they have any plans to dig those up, and he hasn't heard anything new since last night, but they are out there searching again today for her. One thing that could be key is the car. This is the car that was dropped off at the baby's school. There were some people saying that they saw Billy speeding in her car going towards Upton, where he lives. There's an hour of time missing because she dropped the baby off, then left, then the car showed back up there. So perhaps their surveillance camera, maybe people saw him in the car, which could prove that he's involved in this situation. There are people saying that they did see them go to the Dollar General to pick up oil for Billy's truck. Whether any of that is true or not, I'm not sure. Um, but she was living, as the video said, with her stepdad and mother because she was estranged from her husband. And her phone has been found at his house, allegedly. Hopefully, this is not another Crystal Rogers situation. That's a lot of uh, the comments that I saw in the Facebook groups because they're from the same state. Hopefully, that's not the case, and they're going to find her safe and sound. But if you've seen anything or know anything, 
Kentucky State Police, 800-222-5555.